Hey, we are live. Okay, sorry I'm late. It's we're ten minutes late, but we are here. Everything's good. Let me put the. Let's see here. Whoo! Ha! My gosh, it's been a crazy season. Can you guys hear me? This is this is where you should be hearing me, not through this, but through this. So let me know if it's not working. But I try to get everything set up, and it seems like I'm always perpetually uh, late for these live these live things. Oh, you can't see the roaster. Shoot. Hmm. Huh. Normally it's up there, but that's where the uh, air purifier is. Oh, Joseph says it sounds good. So yeah, today we have a lot of giveaways to do. Hey, Kayla, what's up? What's up, Kayberry? So um, first of all, I just, before I start roasting coffee, um, I did a few giveaways, right, this past week, and I got Pete, Pete sent me a ton of stuff, and so did uh, Caesar, so, well, you know, I was giving Caesar his, his, uh, his cigars in person, and instead of, you know, just giving him cigars, he gave me way more back, so Caesar, check this out, he gave me a Colorado Claro, or, yeah, that's what he gave me. That is a killer cigar. That's a very nice, expensive cigar. And he also gave me, let's see here. I never heard of this before. It's called a Garfall. Garfall? I don't know. Do you guys know this one at all? A Garfall? And he also sent a few of these, and I've already smoked one, if you saw a picture of it. These are uh, Cuban Crafters, Torpedo, San Andreas, Nicaraguan Filler and Binder. He said that these are $42 for 20 of them. So... He basically just gave me three of them, and they are very good for, you know, when you're talking about a bundle cigar, these are definitely up there as far as, you know, what I'm, what I'm looking for. And then, check this out. I got an awesome letter from Pete F. He says um, he put some Drew Estate Factory Smokes and Sun Grown and Maduro in there. They burn incredible. These are incredibly well, he says, for $1.50. Um, let's see. He says, but sadly for him, that's all he likes about these cigars. These are factory smokes. They burn well. He says that's all he likes is that they're just $1.50. But we emailed back and forth a few months ago, and he remembered he could, I couldn't find them. Also, he included, check this out. If you see the thumbnail of the video, he included a blind man's bluff. Now, this is the one he really wanted me to try. And he said this is, let's say this is a few dollars from Caldwell. So, we should probably try this one today. That's what I think we're going to have to do because I've been talking about the blind man's bluff all the time. If you guys have had a blind man's bluff, let me know. It smells super cedary. That smells very really good. Let's see here. Where's my cutter and lighter? Merry Christmas, by the way. If I haven't said it before. Perfect draw. Tastes like uh, cocoa almost. We got the comments rolling in. I can't look and smoke a cigar. I'm going to burn it. Make sure it's good all the way. I'm getting really excited, so I'm not doing a good job lighting it. Okay, let's see here. We got some comments. Ricky says, hello. Kberry says, I must have missed your giveaway post. No, we're going to do the giveaway soon here. I'm going to do, we're going to do a few, I don't know, fun giveaways. I'll figure it out. I, wanna, I think I want to give away three or four more packages, care packages. Oliver says, I left HQ and returned. What happened, though? I don't know what happened. Um, this whole live thing is kind of a mess. Um, when, you, when you create a scheduled event, you have to click back on it, otherwise people will just be on that. You can't start another one. So, sorry about that. Also, um, I'm in Arizona time. So, Arizona, they don't do daylight savings. And so, um, that's great for us, but I think right now we're technically Mountain Standard Time, I think. But then everyone switches and then we turn it to California Pacific Central Time, or Pacific Standard Time. Do, 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 do. Uh, I have it before I got my Cigar Club box. Huh. Oh, really? You got this in there, huh? The CigarClub.com box. Very interesting. I mean, I love the way it looks. I was calling it the Blind Man's uh, Puff, 
which could also be a cigar. Mm-hmm. Caleb, I haven't had one yet. It's sitting in my humidor. Well, so far it's a very clean, a clean uh, finish. Jay says, what's everyone else smoking? That's a good question. We Let me know what you guys are smoking in the comments. And PF, what's up, dude? I just, I'm smoking your blind man's bluff. Very good so far. I'm going to let it kind of, I'm going to kind of savor the flavors a little bit. But yeah, we're about to roast some coffee. And uh, Caesar, when I met Caesar, he's one of my super fans. He's actually a neighbor. He said I should try some mezcal. And if you don't know, mezcal is a... Well, it's made in Mexico from agave, and um, technically, technically, this is what I heard. Te I, th I believe tequila is a type of mezcal. So mezcal is like whiskey, you know, it's a very broad term. Anything made with agave, I'm pretty sure, is mezcal. But typically now it's sold as very smoky, and it's almost like, uh, like mesquite. So we're definitely going to have to open this up. I don't think this is lit all the way. I don't think so, Mr. Batman. Mmm! That's a very good cigar. Man, this thing's bright. I feel like this light over here is blinding. Should I... I don't know if it's worth... Uh, Pete is having a CAO Nicaragua tonight. Nice, very nice. And I got, I got my, my office chair in here because I just wanted to chill. You know, this is one of those days that I got off of work and I'm like, I'm tired. You can see my eyes, I'm just, ugh, from typing all day. But we, it's Christmas time and it's time to light up. Let me try some mezcal here before I forget. So I get really excited and I, I have to try everything. So, and then guess what? My wife, she bought this for me. She also bought me some Abelure, um, which is a 12 year scotch. It's, it's killer stuff. But I tell you what, this for being clear, you wouldn't think this this spirit has any flavor, but it's actually very smooth, and I think it's because they smoke it with mesquite and they, they cook it and they burn the agave with it, so the mesquite flavors come through. And it's almost like it's kind of like scotch in that it's smoky, but it's much uh, I don't know. It's more like it's more like liquid smoke versus like peat smoke. It's very good. It almost has like this, I don't know what, how to describe it, like a, has a weird like rose essence to it in my opinion, but I like it a lot. Alec Bradley Tempest Maduro, nice. Where can you get this cigar? Can I get, can I get a, yeah, you can get a cigar, man. Uh, Oliver says he smoked a Rocky Patel Royal, I think I have one of those in my humidor. Josh is smoking a Man of War, very nice. By the way, this is a really nice cigar. The flavors are like, uh, I'll save that for later. We'll save it, we gotta get some roasting. Maybe I should turn, should I turn this on? Is it air purifier? Let's turn that on. Yeah, so check this out. This is what my mom, my, my wife gave me. Very nice. It is, it is a very good scotch. I think she got it for like around 50 bucks. Can you see that? I love, this is a very good, so we'll have to try this later on in the night. But, let's see here, we gotta roast coffee because you guys, um, I have to give away three or four more cigars. Hold on here, or packages, I mean. So that's why we have to roast coffee today. Let's see, where do I put all this stuff? Gotta put, just put it somewhere. So what are you guys doing for Christmas? Are you, do you have like any special Christmas traditions or anything? Can you give me a cigar? No, man. You have to win it. You have to prove yourself worthy. But if you do win one of the giveaways here in about 10 minutes, then maybe I'll give you a cigar. 
So I'm thinking I want you guys to help me decide. Do you want cigar trivia or do you want trivia with me? Like, you know, family trivia, like, like the names of people or I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I haven't decided yet. I just want to give stuff away. That's all I know. Cigar trivia. Jay says cigar trivia. Okay, maybe a little more. Something like that. It's about a pound. It's about a pound. Hold on here. This looks... There we go. Can you see this down here? Oh, there you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, this is bad. 16 people are like, man, this guy's an idiot. This guy's an idiot. Okay, let me show you here. One pound. We max increase the time because it's, it's a little cold out here and I didn't preheat. It's kind of like a mini oven, basically. And start, turn the light on. P5. I always go P5 if you guys know. Feast of the Seven Fishes. What the heck is the Feast of the Seven Fishes? What is that? I have never heard of it. That sounds like a fun thing. I don't know. Fun tradition. So you should probably explain what Seven Fishes is. Come on. Here. Okay, so you win a cigar basically from today. I'm gonna to start doing like a like cigar trivia. So that's how you're gonna win a cigar. If you are the first person to comment, that's how you're gonna win. Italian tradition is the feast of seven fishes. You must cook seven different fish dishes on Christmas Eve. Huh. So do you like broil or bake and saute and raw or is it is it just like all italian style fish or how does that work i don't even know if there's seven different ways to cook a fish i guess there is there's gotta be so i'm guessing you uh i don't know i've seen people put fish on like coals i've seen people bake them and I don't know what you do. What's that? What is it called when you cure a fish with lime juice? That's what I'm thinking. Hey, Limbs is from Pakistan. What's up? Pakistan. Did I miss anything? I think I... Okay, so people overwhelmingly, they want cigar trivia for today's giveaway. Yep, yep, yep Pakistan. Okay. So, let's see here. Hold on one second. This is a really bright light and it's like piercing me. The corneas. Hold on real quick. my microphone let's put this right there no nope, let's put this right here yeah this looks way better and it's like my eyes are not I'm not blind right now okay let's adjust this again oh is the audio is it not working can you hear me huh super okay Okay, all right, all right, let's see, this is a ring light. Oh, uh, no, that, ooh, it's bright. Okay, audio is fine, everything's good. So for Christmas, if you guys don't see any videos, I wanted to talk about that. So I'm gonna be gone for two weeks, 
I'm going to spend a week in Chicago and a week in Florida with my dad. So um, I'm going to try to put more vlog stuff out there and I'm also going to do a video of the Cigar of the Year if I find one in Florida. Last year I did that with my dad where we recorded that um, at his local cigar shop. And it was great because it's Florida, right? So we're just hanging outside and uh, we had nothing else to do. So stay tuned for the Cigar of the Month, um, I'm a Cigar of the Year video. Also, what are your thoughts on that? Um, it seems like every year it's like pretty typical, um, but number two looks pretty good. Uh, the My Father, I forget what it's called. Uh, My Father, uh, oh, Obrigado or something. I forget what it's called. But the, the number one cigar of the year, if you're, if you're not aware, um, what was it? Oh, I'm blanking. It was the E.P. Carrillo something. It looked pretty good. I actually, I kind of liked the way it looked. The My Father, La Ople, Oplencia. That's the number two. I can never say that, Oplencia. Um, and then they had, the number one cigar of the year was uh, some E.P. Carrillo thing, Encore. There it is, Encore. So that one actually looks pretty good. Like sometimes cigars of the year, they're just like impossible to find. You know, they're just like weird Cuban cigars that, you know, are, that you just can't get. Um, but this was like an $11 cigar from E.P. Carrillo. Um, you know, if you guys know him, he did the Inch Cigars. He did a, a few other stuff, but um, it seems like that could be a good... To me, that's a good Cigar of the Year cigar, you know. It, well, it might be hard to find now that it's Cigar of the Year, but um, I try to always get one just so I can, you know, really share my experience and stuff like that. What do you guys think of that Encore? I don't hold a lot of stock in the top 25. Either do I, so I generally don't really put... I think it's just interesting how they select it because there's always a My Father, there's always an Oliva, it's almost always a Siri V. Um, there's generally a Rocky Patel, like it's almost like one from every major company. Um, hold on. This should be like a, like a Best Buy list. I, actually, I really like their Best Buy list because those are typically cigars that are very, very, uh, very good for the price. Yeah, this is like a chocolatey coffee mixture. This is very good. The Encore is very good, he says. That's a dope machine. It is a dope machine. Check that out. Your coffee down there is being made as we speak. It's pretty awesome. You guys have to remind me, though, when you see this start blinking, when you see that blinking, let me know because I have to push the start button. Um, yes, yeah, so exactly. So generally, so that's why I started Honest Cigar Reviews is because I noticed patterns every single year and I don't really know exactly how blind taste testing works, but I noticed generally there's a Cuban cigar, the top two or three is a Cuban, and um, generally it's a Monte Cristo number two, um, and, you know, or some sort of Cohiba, and um, generally it's, it's just like it's the same stuff every year. And so while that makes a good fun list, um, it, it, just, it feels very weird coming from a cigar guy, like seeing that like pattern over and over again. Yeah, Nicaragua pr produces probably the best overall, and that's that's why I'm wondering is like are, why why are Cuban cigars always like two or three? It's like it's like I don't understand how that works exactly. I know they produce great cigars, but it seems like they always plant one or two of them in the top five. Love your life, bro. I will love my life. Good encore to La Historia. It's elite. Oh, it's the elitism of Cuba. So that's a good point. A lot of Cuban cigars are. Cuba is like kind of like the inventor of cigars, and there are a lot of international people who who listen to or I mean I guess read cigar aficionado. So it makes sense to have Cuban cigars in there. But for most Americans, it seems like, okay. But you're right. I, I guess the most advertiser dollars is what gets them in there. That's my assumption. Uh, yeah, yeah. So Cubans are very mythical. That's a good... We like the mythical, I think, because we don't understand it fully. That's my theory. This is kind of nice. I like this cigar. The blind man's bluff. 
Let's try this out with um, some mezcal. This has a nice little bite to it, but it's it's like the alcohol is smooth, but the smoke has a bite. It's kind of weird. And when you're drinking it, you're like, oh, that can't be good. But it's actually really good with Bloody Marys, I've, I've noticed, or red beers. Uh, he's, oh, Snuffleupagus. <laughs> he says he's puffing a Cabanero. Interesting. I've never tried that. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. So Jay says, I ordered some Cubans from various sites in Switzerland. Some choice cigars, great cigars, great cigar, nonetheless. That's true. So a cigar is a cigar at the end of the day. It's, you know, uh, it doesn't really matter where it comes from, if it's good or not. Uh, let's see here. Love AJ. I'm assuming you're talking about AJ Fernandez. Great blender. Great cigar guy. Uh, forbidden fruit is what Cubans are. And that's true. They are kind of like forbidden fruit. Um, Roma Craft is huge now. Um, I okay. I remember when Roma Craft. So Stephen says Roma Crafter is our uh, Dunbarton, a couple of Tim Swanson's uh, executive blends. Throw in my fatherly Bijou 1922. Yeah, that's a great. I think those are killer cigars. Like if you know about cigars, that seems to be Dunbarton seems to be a huge player right now. Uh, my father always seems to be good. Um, Roma Craft and Tatawahe. It's crazy thinking these were like boutiques, and they're not anymore, you know. But um, I think those are like neck and neck, it seems. Even though I, I've, I, th I think I've only had one Roma Craft, but people talk about these cigars just like Tatawahe. It's like, it's like the cool insider club cigar. That's that's not Cuban. It's like a it's like a macro micro blend. Let's see here. Oh. We should be hearing cracks soon. Yeah, I should probably get into the Roma Craft game. I probably should. Love Roma Craft. Smoked a Cromagnon EMH yesterday. Huh. Hey, Christina's on. Roma's good, but they have very similar flavor, kind of like Disturbed music. Ah, uh, like the band Disturbed? Uh. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. You remember that? Ooh. I used to do that when I was a kid. Hey, happy holidays, Christina. We are smoking a blind man's bluff, if you guys are just tuning in. This was gifted to me from Pete F. He's a fan. Yeah, all the songs sound the same. All the same tempo, all the same key, all about rage, you know. So maybe maybe all of, uh, all of them are like that. Maybe they're good, but maybe they're all similar. This is a good cigar. Um, let me let me just think about it. It's like coffee right now. Coffee, hint of cocoa powder, some spice through the nose, a very very faint pepper, very clean and sh uh, medium finish, but really clean finish. And uh, I guess these are only a couple bucks each, but they're so far so good. I think it's. Uh, Looking at the cap, it's well constructed. I mean, there's really nothing to not like about it. Maybe I'd wish the, the 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 finish was longer, but I also like cigars that leave a clean, you know, like I don't need a glass of water feeling, you know. Yeah, PF, thank you. Oh, uh, Snuffleupagus says my favorite cigar of all time is the Camacho Nicaraguan Barrel Aged. I'll definitely try that out. I've got a few barrel aged cigars upstairs. Um, and they're, um, they're called, uh, what's, what are they called? I'm trying to think. They're dragons. Oh, that's right. Dragon's milk. They're cigars aged in dragon's milk barrels. So, um, they have a really unique flavor. Um, almost like a maple hint or something like that. Pretty good. Or, or, or maybe, I don't know, maybe not maple, but, um, I might describe that as, uh, I don't know, yeasty or bready, maple-y. Found them in Cigar Vid for 60 bucks for a 20 pack? Dude, that's killer. Who makes these? These are made from Caldwell. Caldwell Cigars. So this seems to be a, uh, one of PF's, one of his favorites. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this, if you guys don't know, 
I don't know how to pronounce that. Zakaru? Can you see that? Zakaru? Seems like it's all blown out. All too white. You can't read it. Oh, we got to push the start button. Whew. Close call. Close call. Oh, aged rum is great, especially with cigars. Oh, the dragon's milk. The dragon's milk is, um, is uh, a stout that is a whiskey barrel aged. And um, they leave it in there for, I don't know, a year or so. And it's very thick and syrupy. It, it's sort of like a cheaper version of uh, KBS or CBS from Founders. But I've noticed it's, um, it's, it's, I don't know, it's almost like a scotch ale in, in a way in some of its harshness or, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's really good though. But yeah, Dragon's Milk, if you can find it, get it. Um, Dragon's Milk is, I think, is that, mm, I think it's Founders, I don't remember. I ha I've had it so much, you'd think I would know. Uh, for, I don't remember exactly. Um, Dragon's Milk, see I'm using my phone right now, so I can't look up stuff for you guys. Padron 64 is his favorite, I love Padron 64s. Um, uh, what is it, 26s and 64s all day. Those are killer cigars. New Holland, that, thank you, thank you. So the New Holland founders and, um, so if you're from Michigan, we're really into beer, right? So in Michigan, we've got like New Holland, we've got uh, Founders, we've got uh, Bell's Brewery, and then there's a ton of other ones like Dark Horse and there's smaller, smaller breweries. But yeah, those are definitely awesome uh, microbreweries. Holland's Brewery from Michigan, that's right. Oh, Adabee, I've never had an Adabee. Dude, that looks, I love Adabee. Well, though I love the way Adabee looks, but I think they stole from Cohiba the way that the squares look. Um, that's my little complaint about Adabee. I've never had one, but they're really expensive, like $20 a piece. Oh, we gotta put that down to three. You probably can't see this, but it's cracking. It's cracking like crazy. The Tabernacle is your favorite. Huh. I've never had a Tabernacle. But I just learned. I learned that Tabernacle. I learned that it means um, to pitch a tent. So, pretty cool. In the Old Testament, the, the Tabernacle is, I guess, where God pitched his tent, I think. The Mock Cafe. Never had a Mock Cafe. Hey, one out of gaming. It's been a while. He was my neighbor. Oh. Fat Crab redacted his message. I've never seen that. What did you say, man? Uh, Tabernacle's the bomb. Okay, so apparently I've got to try Tabernacle. Apparently, got to try Tabernacle. See, right now I'm trying to regulate the temperature of your roast down here. Can you see that? Let me see here. If I can lower this down. There you go. There you go. We're just, we're cooking. We're cooking with fire. Let me move this over here. Move the microphone right here. So you push this B button right there. And 250 degrees is the internal wall temperature. For me, that's right around perfect for when I'm entering uh, first and second crack. Cause I like a long, smooth second crack for you guys. When I'm sending out coffee, that's what I like to give. I like to give that smooth, um, a very smooth coffee. Christina, she's tried my coffee. She says it tastes amazing. So apparently I'm good at something. Uh, let's see here. Liga number nine. That, those are always good. Um, is it really? What is what really? Tabernacle. It must be good. The Perdomo Barrel Aged is also very good. Um, huh, I don't think I've had a... I don't know, I, I guess I need to try more Barrel, barrel Aged stuff. Mm. Oh, Pete, you've never tried a number nine? Well, it's okay, I've, I haven't tried a lot of stuff. Basically, the number nine is... Uh, 
It's kind of like the flash cigar, it seems like. It's not the best, but it's definitely the most, probably the most common. I love how the, oh, Macanudo Cafe, very nice. Those are the most mild cigar you'll ever have, and there's nothing wrong with it. Oh, Christina redacted her message, but it said something about how she likes the, how the oils are pouring, I think. Hmm. Maybe the coffee oil was coming out uh, if because it was it was shipped for like a week. So over the course of a week, the coffee, what happens is it leaks oil through the through the paper bag, I've noticed. So that's probably what she's talking about. Uh, Kay Berry likes the Yeah, when you're when you're making coffee. Oh, hold on. I think we're almost there. Okay, I think we're good. Once it starts, oh, once it starts snapping. Once it starts snapping. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. I gotta watch it. Um, man, this is like really bright. It drives me nuts how whenever you go live, the live, uh, the live camera makes everything way more sensitive to light. So like, this is actually really dark in here. Like, it's really dark in here, but it, even that looks pretty good. Uh, let's see here. Well, this is too bright. It makes me look like a ghost. Okay, so we are almost done. So I think what I should do is a uh, cigar, maybe more cigar trivia. Willie Herrera, huh? Willie Herrera is great. He does uh, a lot of stuff from with Drew Estate. Hashtag monster, Master Blend. Dang, he does everything. I had no idea. I mean, I knew he did a lot. I think he took over for uh, for Drew Estate for a while. I, mean, I don't even think Jonathan Drew does anything anymore. I think he sold it, and now he just kind of shows up, shows up places. Almost there. New World's second favorite. Huh. You guys should just create like a list for me and email me. Because um, that would be awesome. If you Or if you can Instagram message me, it's easier for me to see. It's quicker. But, oh, we're in second crack. We're in the second crack. We got to push the cool button. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so if you guys can, like, Instagram me some of your favorite cigars, I'm always into that stuff. And if you want to send stuff, there's a P.O. box below. Um, so that's how I got this from Pete. And uh, I definitely, I've never even, I've, I have heard of it, but I've never even thought about trying it. So now I'm interested to buy more. He said I can get these on Cigar Bed for, like, you know, 60 bucks or something. Okay. Should we, the question is, should we do the giveaway now or should we wait? Because there's 19 people, people are leaving, they want me to get on with the show. I don't know, I don't know. Rocky Patel, Vintage 92 Toro. I love the Vintage series. The Vintage 1990 is what got me into scars because um, that was that, that's my birth year. And so I thought, oh man, this cigar is from 1990. I think the seeds were just grown in 1990, but I don't think the cigar is that old. Either way, it's a great cigar. The 1990 and the 1992, uh, they, they were they used to be very good. I haven't tried one in five years, but they're they're great cigars. Have you guys ever had mezcal? Oh, the 46 Mermosa? I have never had the 46. That's That sounds really good, though, doesn't it? Um, do you see... Yes, I saw... The, okay, so, Christina, I saw who the number one was, and I thought, that looks actually pretty good. It was like 11 or 12 bucks. 
EP Carrillo. Uh, I think it was the encore that people said. Um, and it looked like, I read about it, and it said that, you know, he tried it like two years ago, but the leaves just weren't ready. So then he waited for another two years. And um, so it seems that it gets a really, a pretty good number one. And the number two, um, uh, La Oplacencia or something like that, I can never remember what it's called. Uh, that looks pretty good too. So I'm not, I'm actually, I'm actually pretty happy. I'm relatively happy. I just still feel like, eh, I don't know if it's a real list or not. Yeah, I've never heard of them until now. And that's what I like. I like cigars that you haven't heard of that blow up. And um, like last year, I don't know if it was worthy of number one, but it was good. Certainly good. Let me put this farther away. Is that better? If, if you're farther away, it looks like a Oplo Opulencia. I can never say it. I can never say it. Okay, hold on. I'm talking too much. That's what you get when you talk. Your cigar goes out. Okay, so I'm going to give away, you know, I try to, I'm, I'm trying to do more giveaways because I want to be just better at giving back. I almost have 10,000 subscribers because of you guys, and I'm definitely going to do something during that time too, but right now it's Christmas, and I don't have 10,000 yet, so I'm going to need your help to spread the word. I think I have like 9,500 maybe, so if you guys can help me get to, if you can help me get to 10,000, maybe I'll give away like, I don't know, like like a good, like a box of cigars, I'm thinking. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Sin compromiso. Without compromise, right? Is that what that means? Been watching since the Michigan days. What up, Rex? I've always enjoyed the show. Thank you very much. And um, if you guys don't know, I actually have a separate channel now, but I'm dedicating that just for CBD products. It's called Jimmy Reviews. And the, the idea with that is I want to be better about compartmentalizing uh, my, my, my content. So I, I started this other channel and it's just CBD products because I didn't want to mix it with this and the cigars and then the mattresses and then the vlogs. It seems to be too much for one channel. And that's probably what's holding me back is that I'm, I have too much and my audience doesn't know what to expect. Oh, thanks, Chad. I really appreciate it. So, yeah, so subscribing and liking and sharing, that's what gets you to 10,000. And it's, it's interesting because your first 10,000 is easier than your first 5,000, if you could believe that. And my first 100 took forever. It took like a year um, or maybe, maybe two years. Um, and people are like, oh, this is never going to work. And here I am with 10,000 subscribers. And it's like, dang, this is awesome, you know. Um, so maybe in another year, it'll be 20,000. Who knows? Nice. He helps run a CBD shop here in Fort Wayne. Very cool, man. Yeah, so I, 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 I'm, I just reviewed Savage CBD products. Uh, I have a bunch of hemp bombs I've reviewed. Um, CBD, if you don't know, is the non-psychoactive ingredient in, found in hemp or, or cannabis. And um, basically, it's, it's good for calming and healing the body, inflammation, things like that. And um, so, yeah, I, I just tried it one day to help me sleep a little bit, and I was blown away. And a lot of people are using it for muscle relaxation and, um, and for anxiety and depression. And um, I really thought it was interesting because you, don't really, you can't really tell that you're, when you take it, all you know is that you feel a little better, you know. So people who don't want to be on like, uh, you know, antipsychotics, um, it could be good to help with that. Or if they don't want to be on antidepressants or if they don't want to be on sleep pills, um, it seems to have a lot of good uh, beneficial things to it and, it, and it's not illegal. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a big fan of that. I'm, I'm going to try this uh, cream. I'm going to put it on parts of my body and see if, uh, you know, like I have lower back pain sometimes. So I'm thinking I'll try it on my lower back and see if it helps. My dad actually has uh, some tinnitus, so his ears are ringing a lot. And I was thinking, man, what if I put some of that on his ear or on his jaw? And that could help the swelling. 
and therefore reduce his tinnitus. I mean, maybe maybe it's as simple as that, you know. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. It's it's not a miracle. It's not a miracle drug or product. It's but it definitely helps, and I think it's better than Advil. I think it's better than melatonin. Um, yeah, and it, it can be very expensive, and that's the trade-off of CBD. Oh, they should have a CBD cigar. If they had a CBD cigar, oh, that would actually be really good. Maybe I could put drops of CBD on here. It'd be super mellow, a very, very, very mellow. Uh, Christina's been considering it. Have you tried any Black Label cigars yet? My favorite is the Lawless or Salvation. I have not had any Black Label. I should probably try that soon. CBD cigar is done by Risk. What? There's already a cigar out there? J JSX called Nugs. Mm, Nugs. I definitely need to try that now. Um, I'm going to put that in my Jimmy Reviews channel. Or maybe this channel. Uh, Rob says, I like bluegrass hemp oil in Lexington. They make their set, they make, they make it their self and they treat it kind of like a, yeah, it is kind of like a medical product. Um, you don't get high from it, so it's definitely more of a medicine than just a fun time. Uh, Rex is saying there's a CBD cigar, James. I saw that. I was really, so I definitely want to look into that. Um, if you could, I don't know, if you could like remind me of that somehow, like email me. Um, cause I'm going to reach out to them. I don't know if you could inhale it though. Like if you're vaping, you can inhale it. Joss, some crawl, J S L. Joss, some crawl, Joss, some crawl. Huh? Mm hmm. Yeah. I would totally be down for trying uh, a CBD cigar. I think my my air purifier is it's kind of working but man sometimes it, it I need to be uh, like if it was right here it'd be way better it'd be like twice as effective um do they have a CBD server coming out next year they do huh I would be I would totally be all about that and uh, CBD has a sort of earthy flavor and so that actually might be, that might go well with a tobacco because tobacco has earthy flavor sometime. So yeah, I'm all about that. Very Cuban-esque with closed foot and a pigtail cap. Very nice. Huh. Joss some crawl. Say it with me. Joss some crawl. We have to remember this. Uh, Cause I'm gonna, if I email them, I'm hoping they'll send me stuff. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Yeah, this chair, my office chair, so much better than that little blue chair. Like this, like I could just chill all day right here. I should probably turn this, yeah, if I turn this into like a man cave, my garage, that'd be awesome. I'm liking this. The blind man's bluff is good because... Sam, glad it's Christmas break. I am super glad. Oh, she's really glad. Uh, Sam is a music teacher, if you guys don't know. And um, yeah, so basically she, um, we both have two weeks off. And so she's, she's like, oh my gosh, she's like, these kids are crazy. Um, the last two days were half days though, so it was okay. They, they basically just had parties all day. But she's super glad. And we're going to be going home to Chicago, so... You're gonna see vlogs of that. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. It should be really fun. Getting more pepper now. Hmm, leathery, peppery. The coffee's gone. Just a nice leathery, peppery earth. Very nice. But we can't, we can't forget the mezcal. Okay, I think it's time for a cigar, for a cigar, I don't know. I should, I should write this stuff down. Okay, um, so the first person to get this correct, the first person to comment will win. Um, I have, I'm, I'm gonna, I, I choose three cigars in every giveaway and then a bag of coffee. 
So, yeah. At about what point that are you in the cigar? I started to taste Dominican tobacco in it. I'm about halfway in it, maybe. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know if I taste Dominican tobacco, but sometimes I get like a nutty flavor from it. But right now it's leather and earth. Christina, yes, I, you're still involved even though I sent you. Christina, if you guys don't know, I tell this to people every day. Christina is my number one fan. I'll send you something again. You got a P.O. box, and I'm assuming just for me or maybe, maybe for a few people. But um, yeah, I'll send you something. Okay, so the first person to comment right now on the answer, on the correct answer, wins. Um, okay, so this is a good this is a good cigar question. Are you ready? What is the name? What is the name of these of the size and shape of a cigar? What is that called in Spanish? What is that, the size and the shape? What do people call that in Spanish? Oh, Jay won it. Oh, Logan said Virgil's. <laughs> yeah, so technically it could be Parejo or it could be Vitola. I was, I would totally, I guess the shape is more Parejo well, actually, Parejo is a straight cigar, technically. So Vitola is technically the right answer, but I would have, I would have, I would have taken both. So Jay, if you could message me, uh, if you could email me below, Jay, I will send you three cigars and a bag of coffee. Um, yeah, so a Vitola, if you guys don't know, is the size and shape. So Robusto, Toro, Torpedo, um, uh, Pyramid, or uh, you know things like that. Um, it could be anything. And uh, a Parejo is a straight cigar, so it doesn't have any Solomon shape or uh, a pointed tip. It's, it's generally just, like this is a Parejo, a straight cigar. Now there's different sizes of these, and that's where you get the Robusto and the Corona. Yep. So, Jay, message me or email me below, and uh, I will send you out a package, man. Okay. You guys, that was really fun because you guys all, it was like, did, 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 did. <laughs> okay. Adam says, I am, I'm way too, I'm way too no, new to know that. Don't worry, you'll get there. And I'm also going to do a random, I think I'll do, uh, yes, I'm, I'm going to give away three more because I'm crazy. Um, let's see here. Um... Maybe I'll do one random, uh, random trivia in case you don't know a lot of cigar trivia. Maybe it could be random trivia, or maybe it could be about you know me trivia. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Oh, he missed it. Okay, so there's more chances. Hold on, hold on. Let me enjoy this. Let me, let me enjoy this. Are you guys ready soon? No, I can't ship to Sweden. Do they? How do you ship to Sweden? I'm pretty sure it would be super expensive. And then if it gets to your customs, don't they have to like take it or tax it extra or something? I don't think Sweden would work. I'm, I'm sorry, I just, I've had so many issues and it takes like a month to get to you. The coffee wouldn't even get, wouldn't even be good after a month. So I'm gonna say no to international. I'm sorry, Sweden. I love Sweden though. Um, let's see here, okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm still Googling the ants. Yes, yeah, so, um, yeah, so a Parejo is a straight cigar like this, but Vitolas are the size of a cigar and the overall shape of a cigar. <laughs> okay, you ready? Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Okay, I got a good one. What? And the first person to answer, Adam's ready. The first person to answer will win the next package. Okay. What is the name of a braided cigar? It has three little cigars and it's braided. What is that? What is the name of a braided 
triple cigar. Normally you give them as gifts to people. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, no, 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 not, not barber pole, not trifecta. There's a Spanish name for these braided cigars and they are, oh, Jay got it. Oh, we, are we allowed to give Jay two? I guess so. I didn't say he couldn't win two. Jay technically won it. Culabra. Culibra, which is snake. I don't know. Should I give that to Rex? Because he was the first other Jay. Other than Jay. Culebra. 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 That's snake in Spanish. It's like three cigars put into one. Traditionally in Cuba, you would give that as a gift to someone. And um, basically, it's uh, a celebration. You smoke it together. So maybe if it's like a business deal or like someone gets married or something... Oh, Jay says, Merry Christmas, Rex. Okay, so I'll give that one to Rex. Okay, so Rex, comment or comment or uh, message, email me your, your email, I mean your, your address. So yeah, so that is a, a triple, it's a weird, when you, when you unravel it, it's like they're all curly-cued from, from being that way. But they, they put nice ribbons on them, and they're, they're traditionally Cuban cigars. Okay, so Rex got one, and Jay got one, and uh, so maybe I should put a rule that you sh you can't win twice, because that, I don't know, maybe we shouldn't do that. Uh, yes, Corona Gorda, a long Robusta format, uh -huh. and, uh, three Pentelas, that's true, they are braided, three Pentelas in the form of one cigar, that's true, but you don't smoke it as one cigar. Uh, which is interesting. Maybe you could if you wanted to, but they're designed to be shared. Okay, so basically we're, right now, Snuffleupagus, we are doing cigar trivia. Uh, we had Jay and Rex already win, and you can only win once, because I don't, I feel bad giving them all to one guy. Um, and, but yeah, so we're just doing cigar trivia. Okay, hold on. We need, you know what we need? We need some bourbon. Not bourbon, we need scotch. Let me go get the <laughs> okay, have you guys ever had, have you ever had Abelure? I can't even say it because I'm not Scottish. But this is 12 year, oh, I wish you could see it, I wish you could see it. Oh, it's sweet, it almost has like, it almost has like a pineapple, tropical. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Abelure 12 year. It is, I think it's a Highland. Yeah, a Highland. She gave me that. Instagram, you could see every day. Last, um, uh, last night we went to this desert botanical garden. It's full of cactus. And they had Christmas trees or Christmas decorations and lights everywhere. It was really cool. And then we had an all-you-can-eat buffet with tri-tip steak. And it was very good. It was a really nice experience. You know, you pay like $100 for two people, a really nice buffet. And there's entertainment everywhere. There's light shows. It's really, it, it was really fun, actually. Ah. Oh, man, this is so good. Oh, my Lord. Toffee and butterscotch and... Caramel, vanilla, and and just a nice, subtle butter sweetness. Mmm. Man, I just love, I love this scotch. I'm a big fan of, recently I've been discovering scotches. And, uh, yeah, it's been great. I love smoking tri-tips, smoking a cigar, and watching YouTube videos. That's true, dude. I do the same thing. They say that tri-tip is like, in Texas, if you smoke it, they say it's like the poor man's brisket, and totally agree with that. Yeah, we gotta get this coffee out because we gotta we gotta do another batch for you guys. Wait a minute, hold on. I gotta get some bags here for you. Hold on, and then we're gonna do two more giveaways. Hold on here. Hold on.
That's my Chicago voice. One, one second. Uh, I'm not buzzed yet, but I will be. I can promise you that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not buzzed yet, but I can't promise I won't be, because... Okay. Oh, yeah, this is looking really good. I got to shake out all the extra. Oh, my Lord, this is looking... This is going to be really, really good. Oh man, if you guys could see this. Oh wow. Okay, hold on. Let me show you guys here. Oh yeah, this is going to be a treat. Oh yeah. Look at that. Actually, you know what? It looks more even in real life than it does in camera. But man, that's going to be good coffee. Holy smokes, Batman. Okay. We gotta get rid of all those chaps. Maybe I should be buzzed. Okay. Yeah, I've tried Death Wish Call. I, I did a review of Death Wish. You can check it on my channel. It's very good coffee. Well, we tried pre-ground and it wasn't very good. But I would imagine it's pretty good if it was whole bean. But we liked we liked the caffeine buzz. He made a vid. Yeah, when you got your own coffee, it, it's a game changer. So I tell people just try roasting your own, and man, it will just it'll change your life. No, that's not enough. I do. I, I'm trying to do a half pound because that's what fits in the bags. Okay, I think that's a half pound. That this one goes to Jay, and I put this. Where do I put this? Put that on top of the other one, and this one's going to go to Rex. And then after this, we got to start roasting more for two more giveaways. This one's for Rex. And I'm gonna label them and package them super tight. And I'll triple bag them so that way they don't leak any honey or uh, any oil. Because if they're shipped, they're gonna be leaking oil. Okay, oh, people are talking. Yeah, you definitely have to grind your own, roast your own, grind your own. I remember when I had my first cup of homebrew and I remember thinking how amazing the flavors were. It's just like that. It's, you know, and you really appreciate the coffee more when you make your own. It's the same with um, beer or rolling your own cigars. You really just, it's a different experience. Okay, a little more. Oop, that's too much. Nope. Eh, it's a little too much, but it'll do. That's a, over a pound. Let's see here. See, the more you put in there, the less, e the less evenly it roasts. Normally, I've got a vacuum to clean this out. Okay. Let's 
chaff everywhere. And this, this does make a mess. It really does. This is the chaff collector. And okay, we are good to go. Okay. I'm gonna have to vacuum. I'm gonna have to vacuum anyway. Okay, we are back in action. We'll put these right here on top of the coffee. If guys, is, is this boring? I think this is boring, but I hope you guys are willing to stay for the the other giveaways. Nothing I do is planned when I go live, and I think that's the point. If, I think if I started planning this, I think what would happen is you would, uh, I think it loses its, it, its, I don't know. I think the authenticity of being live is where the magic's at, and if I were to plan it, maybe just a little more, that'd be, bad, that'd be good. But let's see here. As long as I'm not too boring, but then if I'm too boring, people won't watch it, so it's a catch-22. But I guess I'm just trying to pretend that you guys are here with me because that's kind of what I'm doing. This is what I do when I'm with friends. Okay, we are going back with the cigar. Okay, let's see. Jay and Rex both won. I can't do backflips, man. If I could do a backflip, I wouldn't. I don't know. I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> I'd be in the living room showing off. <laughs> okay. Um... Let's see here. I want to know what you guys... Do you guys drink scotch? And if so, what kind of scotch do you drink? Um, I'm thinking... I have a pretty good collection now. But I kind of want to know what you guys are drinking. Hey, jail sucks. Yeah, if you... I tell people if you can't drink, don't. It's not worth it. And that's okay. Knowing, knowing that you and alcohol don't mix, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I was thinking about drinking eggnog tonight, but it's eggnog is so sh sugary. It's like it, it's kind of, it's kind of gross. Yeah, it has that that bite to it that makes it scotch. I don't know. This is pretty good. Traditionally, I drink bourbon, though. Nine times, nine times out of ten, I would go for a bourbon, but recently I've been discovering really, really good scotches. Rum for me and tequila. Ooh, I love rum. Rum is great because it seems like even a bad rum is still pretty good, and it's very, very affordable, you know? I love Knob Creek. Knob Creek is the first bourbon I had. I was 21, and my friend goes, have you heard of Knob Creek? And I was like, I thought it was like super high end. Turns out it's, it's pretty middle of the road. Um, it's owned by Jim Beam, but it's still really good. Yeah, the Glen Morangy Nectar Dior, or whatever you say, that's very good. I've got, um, I've got the Quinta Rubin. And the nectar in these little baby bottles. I, I really like it a lot. Uh, bourbon, Four Roses, single barrel. Very good. Single barrel from Four Roses is uh, a great example of, of single barrel bourbon. Because it's not like overpowering, but it's still... I don't know. I think Four Roses is a very... Seems like they have a lot of... It's, it's more of a delicate bourbon. It's not like bold and full of rye and sugar. It's like they, I don't know, they have a lot. It's almost like minty. They almost have like a, 
a mint herbal thing going for them. It's really good. Glen Dallow. Glen Dallow. Glen Dallow. I've never heard of that scotch. Sounds interesting. Uh, I'm more of a Anejo rum, a nice aged rum. So some people say I should try Zapata rum. Uh, so maybe I should try that next. Um, I can have hardly anything and I'm two sheets to the wind, so mine lasts a while. Yeah, so me too, like, I have a few shots with my cigar and I'm just... Oh man, this is another great benefit, is I can, I can go back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dreaming of Christmas. <laughs> um... Yes, so we have two more cigars to give away. Rex, oh, this is bothering me. What the heck? Where is this? We've got Rex. Let me put this over here. Rex and Jay have won two packages with cigar trivia. Today we're doing cigar trivia. And um, so I'm trying to think of another good thing here. Hmm. 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 Um, I'm trying to think of a good... The problem is if I do something really hard, you might not know it, and it might not be a good question. But if it's too easy of a cigar question, you guys might... Um, it might just be like a pissing contest to see who's, to see who's first. The thing behind me that's... This is your coffee, so I'm giving away cigars... And I'm giving away coffee. Oh. <laughs> this is a coffee roaster. So right now we're roasting coffee. It's 270 degrees. And uh, yeah. So basically what I do is I give away, I'm giving away four packages. I already gave away two. And uh, so I, I give a half a pound of coffee. And uh, I, I pick three cigars. And I'm, I'm going to Christmas give away that. And uh, so in order to win, you have to name... The, you have to answer my question first in the comments. Glenfiddich. What, Glenfiddich Fire and Cane. Huh. Experimental malt. I've never tried that. Huh. What's, so, what's experimental about that? I want to know now. See, I, I like experiments, so... This is getting creamier and smoother, which is interesting because it's burning down you'd think it would get hotter and stronger. But, I don't know, it's kind of, this is kind of a nice balanced cigar right now. This is, if you're just tuning in, I'm, I'm trying a blind man's bluff. Blind man's bluff, not blind man's puff, from Caldwell. Pretty good. This is from PF, thank you very much, Pete. Um, okay, so let me think here. Yeah, so this is a coffee road. Get one, there's a more 1600 and, and so recently I've been really really busy I had time to roast coffee for you guys but um, yeah basically what I do is I buy green beans and then um, yeah I roast it these are from Sweet Maria's and these are Ethiopian beans I generally buy 10 pounds at a time and they're about six dollars a pound and then uh, um, yeah I roast pounds last me a long, long time, about 10 weeks. So um, I tell people, this machine is like a couple hundred dollars. But if I spend $20 on a bag of coffee versus $6 for a bag of green beans, you know, I'm thinking I'll probably save 6 or $7 every week. And this should pay for itself within a year. And the benefit is I can roast coffee how I like it. It's super fresh whenever I want it. And uh, it makes really great gifts, too. So um, whenever I go traveling, I, I try to bring some for people because they, they really, really like it. So, um, yeah, it's pretty. It's a fun hobby, too. So if, you, if you've never roasted coffee, you can do it in a popcorn popper. And so that's what I tell people, if you want to start roasting coffee, you don't need a machine. But it, it does make it a lot easier. I don't need to... I just need to push a button. So, mm-hmm. Christina has some. She likes it. Uh, my buddy Caesar just tried some. They're trying new ways to make whiskey. Huh. Interesting.
Interesting. Hey, Winston! Winston the Wolf. That sounds like a Harry Potter character. I like that. Winston the Wolf. Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, a good question. 23 people watching, so your chances of winning are pretty good. Pulp Fiction. Oh, is that where that's from, Pulp Fiction? Um, <clears throat> oh, thank you. If you guys don't know, this is... This is... Oh, you can't really see it. Uh, right there. Can you see that? Oh uh, yeah, this is a cool watch. It's a watch that I paid three hundred dollars for, and it's a replica of a Tudor Black Bay homage, Black Bay um, heritage. Oh, this is an homage. Very cool watch. It's sterile, so there's no writing on it. It's very high quality, uh, sapphire crystal, and an ETA twenty eight twenty four movement. So if you're into watches, that's like a really popular Swiss movement. And for three hundred dollars, I was like, dude, this is a killer watch. Um, okay, a good question for you guys. Um, okay. I'm trying to decide if I want to do a cigar question or a question related to me right now. Hmm. Mm hmm I've got a good question this is a very easy question but I think you guys will all know it um, okay here we go are you ready the first person to get this uh, who hasn't won will get it okay you ready what is Tim Swanson's wife's name Tim's wife's name what is her name from Cigars Daily, Tim. Allison! Oliver, got it! Oh, easy guy. That was an easy one. Oliver, uh, email me. My, my email's below. Email me and I'll send you out some cigars. That is an easy one. Well, it's easy for us because we all love Tim. Whoop, whoop. Uh, so, yeah, Allison is awesome. If you guys don't know, Allison... I don't know, but like the B1 Plus, I, too sm I smoke too much. <laughs> yeah, so Allison is awesome. She is a social warrior advocate, uh, social advocate. Um, she's an awesome mom. And yeah, she's just cool. So you definitely want that. Um, comment below, and I'll send it out to you. Okay, Oliver. That was you, Oliver. So we got Oliver, Jay, and Rex. Fabio is a noob. Don't worry, Fabio. It's okay. Yeah. Oh! We gotta push the start button. Oh my gosh, that was a close one. It almost died. If if this thing, if I don't push the start button, when it blinks, it shuts off. Okay, we're good. Uh, I just got into... So Fabio just got into cigars, and he doesn't know a lot about them. Only tried two of them so far. So, um, maybe the last question won't be related to cigars. Maybe the last question should be a, a general cigar question. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Or maybe a, just a general, yeah, just a general, hmm. Hmm. Need a dang timer for that? Yeah, you think this thing would beep? Uh, I just used my microwave, but only for the machine manually. Huh. That's a good idea. Yeah, so you use the timer in the microwave when it beeps, then you come outside, and then you can push the button. That's a really, really good idea, actually. 
um, because I don't know why, but they should have a beeper on here. So that way, if, if I'm in the room, it beeps, I walk over, I can push it. I mean, I like the idea of being safe, but I also I hate that I have to just sit here and look at it. So there has to be an in-between. Or what if, it, what, if they, what if the next model, what if they had some sort of software that would send a notification to your phone and you could control the whole thing with your phone, but it's still very safe and it still has safety features. That would be really cool. That would be awesome. I'm going to try to purge this thing. I think it needs a purge. I think that should do it. Let it cool down a little bit. We've got one more giveaway. We've been on here for 76 minutes. It feels like, yes, it feels like just a second ago. Uh, yeah, this is the HEPA air filter right here. And you can see how close I am to it. I forgot my water bottle over here. Whew, I'm thirsty. Yep, so this is basically, that's kind of like what I do right now. It helps kind of circulate the air. I did a review on it. If you're interested, you could check that out. And then this has an exhaust. It shoots up and in here as well. So it's kind of, it's a, it has a dual purpose. Okay. I'm trying to think of a good question that maybe isn't cigar related. Hmm. Hmm, what do you guys think? What do you think? You know what I think? I, oh, that was from last week. But no one knew Bell's, Bell's little name. How about this? Okay. What? Okay, this is a good one. I've got a good one for you guys. Or just a really easy cigar question. Oh, we got a crack. Hmm. Okay, what about... Hmm. An easy cigar question. Hold on, this thing's cracking. I gotta wait. Once it starts cracking, you don't want to miss it because... Um, you could burn it. And I'm going to push this button to reduce the heat. In just a second here. Need attention now! It does. It needs my attention, man. Oh, my dad's name. Do you guys know my dad's name? Oh, Christina knows my dad's name. That wouldn't be fair. Uh, mm. Do you guys... Okay, maybe this is a good one. Well, maybe only Christina would know. Christina might know. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see here. Do you guys know... Hmm, I've only got one, so I don't want to ruin it. Uh, I was gonna, I'm looking at my car right now, I'm, I'm like, okay, do you guys know what kind of car I have? But maybe you wouldn't know that. Christina knows everything. Christina can't play, or can you can play Christina. I just want to make it a little fair, because Chris, Christina knows a lot. Um, what food would you pair? Um, it depends. Um, I really like chocolate. And that's a food that I love with cigars and, and, and whiskey. Christina knows my cat's name, my dog's name, my dad's name. Christina. Okay, here's a good one. Do you guys know what... Okay, maybe I... I don't know. You guys might not know this. What does my mom do for a living? You probably don't know what, what my mom does for a living. But if you did, that'd be really cool.
Nope, not accounting, not a teacher. Nope. My mom is not a teacher. Well, she teaches, but she's not a teacher. Not a lawyer. Nope, not an accountant. You guys have a lot of the same uh, guesses, though. Not human resource. Have you seen her house? There's no way she could afford it. Not a doctor. She's got a beautiful house. And so what does she do to afford that house? Uh -uh. No. Hey, Grass Snake. He got it. Real estate. Grass Snake, you won the last prize. Uh, you can email me below and I'll send you the cigars and the coffee. Yeah, my mom is into real estate. She even has her own YouTube channel called Wendy Patton. And uh, so people always ask me, what does your mom do? What does your mom do? That house she lives in is beautiful. She's into real estate. She invests in real estate. She teaches real estate. Uh, she, um, she has a title company now. She does uh, all kinds of stuff with real estate. She runs a lot of real estate investing groups. And she used to speak a lot. Hey, how's it going? She's not an engineer, although she used to be a computer engineer. The Puffin Alien at Space Jam. Great to see you. Great to see you, Puffin Alien. So yeah, Grass Snake, you won the last one. You guessed with real estate. My hint was the big house. I was thinking maybe you guys would guess house with real estate, but it is a really big house. Oh, it says it's cooling, and I didn't want it to cool yet. That means I missed it. Oh, well, it's almost there anyway. Um, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero. Yeah, so Grass Snake, I have an email below. And if you want, you can um, send me your email or your, your address. And uh, yeah. So, if you guys are curious to know more about my mom, I think you can go to, you can go to wendypatton.com. And, uh, yeah, maybe I'll do real estate investing one day. Captain Black Pipe Tobacco. Nice. At least he wrote out one crack a while. That's true. So, um, it should be a light roast. Yeah, it's true. So, this would be like a light to a medium roast. The cooling, as you can see, it's still very, very hot. It's 200 and something degrees. So if I stop it in between first and second, um, no big deal. It's just a little bit lighter. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. It might do better with a little bit darker of a roast, but it's still great. It, it'll be about a medium roast, I would guess, versus a medium dark, um, or what some people would call um, full city plus. This would be like a full city. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yep, so I think that's it for the giveaways. Light in the sense that I often go, I often go, medium is more right. Yeah, so it, yeah, for, and the thing, here's the thing, Starbucks has dominated the coffee culture in America, so they burn their coffee, so everyone thinks that their coffee is normal. But technically, Starbucks coffee is very, very burnt. It's very, very dark. It's a French roast or a Vienna roast. And they do that because it helps them maintain uh, quality across all of their stores. And so if they have a good bean or a bad bean, it doesn't matter because they can burn it and it can all taste the same anyway. And so it, they've turned that into a culture of, you know, this is what our coffee tastes like. And it's not bad. It's just a preference. And a lot of, a lot of people like it. And so their stuff is very, is, is very dark, generally. And then, um, you know, this is probably more of a true medium. Starbucks, a dark and sane, at least to me, I like the idea of medium. I like their idea of medium. Yeah, so their idea of medium is like the perfect uh, roast level. It would be, you know, their medium would be somewhere between a medium and a dark. Uh, it would be a full city plus, which is perfect, I think, for me, and a lot of applications. I, for espresso, you want generally a little darker. 
um, it seems that a little darker for espresso holds up to the pressure of, of the water. So it's not always true though. Mm hmm. So, we got, who did we have? We had, we had Jay, we had Rex, we had, uh, we had, who else won it? I just forgot. Grass Snake won the last one. And then the third one was, oh, I just forgot. I often go way dark in the popcorn popper, but the Be More is just waiting to go in flames at that point. That's true. So in a popcorn popper, you can go very dark very easily. And here, it could internally combust. Um, it could. Or if I wanted to, I could roast it twice. But I wouldn't recommend it. I don't know if that would benefit the flavor. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Christina likes all coffee. Guys, speaking of all coffee, you could go on Amazon right now and you could buy a nitro kit. So it looks like um, you put like a little whippet, like a little mini canister and you put the coffee and you shake it up just like whipped cream. And it's not nitrous. I mean, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's a real nitrous. It's not like just like a fake. I don't know how to describe it, but I've seen this device where you can pour it out just like real nitro cold brew. And it's, I think it's a really cool, I think I would totally like that for, it, 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 would, it would feel wasteful, but I think having nitro brew at home would be awesome. You don't need a big keg anymore. You can just do it in a single size. So nitro brew, if you're, nitro brew, if you're not aware, a lot of beer is, is on tap. And sometimes they put it on nitrous oxide instead of uh, carbon dioxide. And so the nitrous is finer small bubbles and it creates like a cascading milky... Um, uh, a very smooth texture in your mouth. Now they're doing the same thing that they, that, that they do with the beer. They do it with coffee now. You can get it at Starbucks right now. It looks just like beer, like a stout. It has a head and everything. And uh, it's, it's very good. It's, it's a very strong... Actually, I found out my friend that works at Starbucks said they can't sell a large cold brew. I mean, they can't sell a large nitro brew because it's just so strong with caffeine. I think there's limitations to it. Or maybe that's cold brew. Yeah, it kind of looks like crema, but it's not crema. It's not coffee oil. It's nitrous oxide bubbles. Yeah, that Death Wish was kind of... Uh, so the death, we, we did a Death Wish video. It was just kind of bland. It was just like really bitter. You know, it's all caffeine. And it was already pre-ground. It wasn't very good. It kind of tasted like cardboard. Oh, Folgers Crystals, you got to get the good stuff, man. Nom de tube, you got to get the good stuff. Question, which do you prefer, a chuck full of nuts, 8 o'clock Folgers, Maxwell Bustello, in a pinch? So in a pinch, um, okay, uh, let's see here. If the 8 o'clock or chock full of nuts comes in a whole bean variety, I would do whole bean all day. If not, the best ground is probably Bustello. I like Bustello a lot. Um, so if it's ground, maybe Bustello. But if, it, if, if I can get the 8 o'clock in whole bean, I think I would go with that. That's a good question, though, because... I mean, I like... It's not that I don't like pre-ground coffee. It's just that it's, it's, there's something... There's a whole other dimension when you pre when you have coffee that you grind yourself. Yeah, great coffee answer. Thank you. I try. I try. We got we got a drinker Abelur. So hopefully this coffee is going to be good for you guys. I'm more Dunkin' Dunk Donut Shop if I can if I do that style. 
Yeah, D donut shop. Co I've actually had some really good donut shop coffee. Like, there's some coffee shops. Uh, there's some donut shops that I'm like, this is actually really good. Like, you know, it's super palatable. It's almost sweet. Um, so, and even like some Starbucks coffee or um, not Starbucks, even McDonald's has some good coffee. Like, I'm like, this is pretty good. Like, if you sugar it up, it's it's hard to have bad coffee when you have sugar, right? I have not had OMS coffee. I need to try OMS coffee because, you know, I'm a big pipe guy as well. Mm. Almost out, dang it. See, I talk too much. I'm, I'm missing my coffee. And I'm trying to respond to comments. But four giveaways. I've got the, the packages. Um, I found out that the USPS is open tomorrow. So that should go out tomorrow, right before Christmas. And you'll probably get it after Christmas, just because the holidays are crazy shipping times. Yeah, if you can cut back on cigarettes, that's the way to do it, man. Pipes are the way to go. Cigars are very expensive compared to pipes. So, um, is there anything else? We've been going for 92 minutes. I'm trying to think. I think that's about it. This will be done in about a minute. So, my favorite coffee is the coffee I roast here. Right now, it's Ethiopian agaro. It's green when I get it, and then I roast it to a medium. I roast it to a medium, medium dark, and that's what I'm giving to people today. And I like it about two days after I roast. That seems to be the perfect time. And I prepare it via, I, I do espresso. I, I, you know, normally I do cappuccinos or lattes. And um, yeah, that's generally what I find is that um, it seems like I can never get coffee that, you know, as, as cheaply as I get this, I can never get it that good if I buy it. So for that price. And this thing is getting super nutty right now. Leather, earth, spice, some creamy nut flavor. Uh, and when, when Peter gave this to me, he said it would be more Dominican near the end. Very true. Right around here, we're getting this sort of creamy sensation, or I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, so vaping and pipes is kind of, it's you have to kind of, when you get into pipes, it takes a while to get good at it. And when you get into vaping, it's it's a completely different world. And um, vaping is like when it's like I don't think about it, whereas cigars I think about. Where vaping is just like fun flavor. There's not really like a lot of body to it or texture. Um, it's mostly like candy flavors, uh, but it's still fun. It's just you know it's more fun in the sense that uh, I could do it inside and I don't know. It's more fun with friends. Vaping is great with friends because they'll do it with you. Like they, like your friends will never try a cigar, but they'll try vape. I don't know why that is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good one. I want to show you guys what this looks like. Hold on. Let me show you real quick. Before you go. So this is a little bit lighter. On camera, it looks really light, but there's some chaff. Let me show you one. Let me show you one. Oh, this one's a pea berry. 
A pea berry is actually, uh, it's one bean. You can see a little bit of chaff in the crack there, in between the, the, the spots. That's a really good medium roast. Here's a perfect example. See that white stuff? That's the, ch oh, jeez, ah! That's the chaff. And so it's okay if you, if you have that. It won't, you won't taste it or anything. But it's basically, it's still there. So that's, that's about a medium, I'd say. Uh, let's see here. Every local Starbucks has a guy with a toaster oven shaking a mop. <laughs> Casey. <laughs> uh, that's, that, that, that's the best comment of the night. Baba Booey. Every local Starbucks has a guy shaking a toaster oven, shaking a mouse cage all night. Welcome to Starbucks. Can I take your order? I'm covered. Like, I'm literally covered in chat. Yeah, you're gonna have to try this, dude. This is like the best way to enjoy coffee. I don't think there's any better way to enjoy it. I think this is probably, I think once you try this, you're probably never gonna go back. If you wanna buy one, I have a link for it below. That'll support my channel and um, it'll support your coffee. Yeah, you can have my secret, I'll give you my secret menu. Shake it. Grim Green, the famous vape guy on YouTube, is a Starbucks coffee roaster. IRL. Hey, what's IRL mean? Info right lane? A shot back works great to pull the chaff. Yes, it does. I'm actually going to use the shot back. Normally I use the shot, but actually it's right there. My vacuum's right there. I'm going to clean all this out. I'm going to vacuum off. And uh, yeah, that's basically how I do it. She's got a coffee press for hers. Love coffee presses in real life. Look at that. Yeah, Grim Green is actually a really cool guy. He's, he does a lot of vaping stuff. I didn't know that he roasted coffee though for Starbucks. They must have a lot of factories that roast massive amounts of coffee right to their specifications. Basically, I just do this until all the coffee comes out, all the chaff comes out. This is what chaff looks like. It's like paper. See that? Cool, but looks more fun with all the Christmas chaff. It, it kind of does. It's, I don't know if you can see that. I'm covered in it. Covered in chaff. Right now, I'm in Arizona. And then uh, Sunday, I'm going to Chicago with my in-laws, you're gonna see videos on that. And then what, what I'm gonna be in uh, Florida, in the villages of Florida, that's where my dad lives. And we're gonna party it up there, we're gonna go golfing, and every night we're gonna party. And uh, I'm telling you what, like retirement in the villages of Florida is crazy. They love to party there. Um, but I'm in Arizona. Do you like to drink your coffee with milk, sugar, or just black like daddy does? Ooh. Um, I like, okay, that's a good question. I like coffee. I generally drink lattes, which is steamed milk. And I like cappuccinos. And I like macchiatos, a, a real macchiato, not a Starbucks macchiato. Macchiato means marked in Italian. And um, basically, it's just a little splash of milk in your espresso. So it's generally uh, espresso dominant, but it has just a little bit of milk. Um, I also like black coffee, and uh, I like Cuban coffee. I like French press and AeroPress. Um, generally, I'll have a little, just a tiny bit of sugar if it's black. So that's it, guys. I'm going to send out four, four of these packages. If you guys email me, I'll send them out. And Merry Christmas. Thank you guys for watching. And, yeah, have a great day. Uh, happy holidays, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah. All right, bye. Bye, Christina. Bye, Puffin. I love the chock full of nuts, New England cobbler. That sounds good. Cup of Joe's, Yorba City, Yarbrough.
Never had it. All right, see you, see you, Baba Booey. All right, peace.